what we're looking at here is a common problem with concrete stairways and that of course is the infamous crack behind the back of the tread or step and the bottom of the riser and of course like I said this is a common place for these areas to crack and by the time you're done watching this video you will have a pretty good understanding why and of course this isn't the only reason why these stairs crack um, in these spots or in other parts of the stairway but it is one of them and of course here's the reason why you can see that the distance here is the smallest distance that the cracks can possibly travel and they love that if you have a one inch thick slab or a 10 inch slab you're going to have a variety of different cracks in each one of them and of course that would depend on a lot of other circumstances but you get the point concrete cracks love small areas and weak points and this of course is the weakest point in this particular stairway or should I say at least one of them again it all goes back to the stairway design in the next illustration I went ahead and made the stairway a little smaller um, the distances between the back of the tread and the soil in this illustration looks like it's about three inches and of course if you do have a stairway with a design like this you are going to end up with more cracks and this is going to be a problem area and I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if you have multiple cracks or a crack at each one of these points in the stairway if you don't put enough rebar in it or um, enough concrete you know if you don't make this area thick enough you're going to end up with problems like these however if you end up with a crack here in this spot uh, and you don't end up with a crack in the weak spot um, I would be shocked uh, as a matter of fact I have seen cracks like these but they are few and far between um, and of course this goes back to the fact that this is the thicker area I just wanted to provide you guys with another illustration of areas that you're probably not going to see a crack and of course that there's a good reason why however I have seen them and a lot of times if you see the edge of a concrete stairway either the the riser or the tread the step um, damage a lot of times it uh, is for other reasons and, and not for this but if you do see a, a crack in an area like this and it's starting to get wide um, realistically you've probably got some big structural problems that you would need to address now do I have a solution for this problem um, realistically I don't there are no guarantees however there are ways that you can reduce the amount of problems and of course that would be by making these areas a little thicker uh, now by that do I mean you, you need to make these areas 24 inches thick absolutely not um, but uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make sure that the soil is compacted properly and there's going to be very little movement in the soil if you're dealing with soil that has been removed and backfilled uh, and it wasn't backfilled properly then realistically you could make these things um, 10 inches thick and end up with problems once the soil starts to um, settle or erode and again erosion is a big problem with um, stairways like this if you have dirt that uh, erodes out of these areas then eventually you are going to create a hollow spot and um, of course a hollow spot just makes these weak spots a little weaker so with that said, if you guys and gals find these videos helpful, let me know by giving me a nice thumbs up.